The Hawaii Restaurant Association is asking the city to push back the ban on single-use plastics. That's set to take effect this January. Restaurant owners agree the ban is a good idea, but they say COVID-19 is making it harder for them to comply. Jen Boniza follows up. When the law banning single-use plastics was signed last December, no one had even heard of COVID-19, and officials certainly didn't expect to be in the middle of a pandemic. Restaurant owners, many who are already struggling to stay afloat, say they just need a little more time to prepare. Oahu's ban on single-use plastics is one of the most comprehensive in the country. The law, which takes effect January 1st, bans nearly all takeout plastics over the next two years. The Hawaii Restaurant Association is asking the city to delay the ban for 90 days. When Bill 40 got passed, uh, the intention is very noble. Uh, you know, we are going to be super green here in Honolulu. COVID-19 really throw a monkey wrench in everything. Lim says the 90-day grace period gives restaurants more time to comply and to apply for exemptions. The original timeline was pushed back due to a community hearing delayed till November 30th. We as an industry just want to make sure that uh, we are not being uh, penalized for not being able to meet a deadline, uh, uh, you know, because uh, you know, if you look at the provisions, the fines can start at about $1,000 a day, and it will throw a lot of people uh, out of business. Cinnamon's restaurant general partner, Puna Nam, says they already switched to biodegradable takeout containers. He says changing out the plastic bags and utensils will likely add another 25 cents per takeout to their bottom line. And that adds up quite a bit, you know, to um, our existing costs right now, which is you know, tight to begin with. The grace period gives them time to use their existing inventory and to find suppliers. We're kind of limited as to our choices and committed to whatever prices we may have to pay in order to, um, you know, meet the um, requirements of the law. City Council Chair Ann Kobayashi says she will push to discuss this in their committee meetings next week. We can always hold special meetings because for me, this is a, it's, it's an emergency for a lot of these small businesses. It's make or break for them. Jen Buniza, KHO2 News, working for Hawaii.